We are right in the thick of flu season and Georgia currently has the second highest influenza rate in the nation. The CDC says only New Mexico has higher numbers. Molly Jett talked with some Central Georgia health care providers to learn more about the rise. Piedmont-Macon North and Piedmont-Macon are starting to see an increase in flu cases. Right now, they say they're seeing more flu than COVID-19 patients. Spencer Slade grew up with a doctor, his dad. I had to call many people whenever we were sick or anything like that. That's really nice. He rarely got sick growing up, but he grew up getting the flu shot every year, including this year. I think it's a good thing. Don't like having the flu. It's not a very fun experience. Right now, Georgia has a moderate spread of flu-like illnesses. When I asked more than a dozen people if they got their flu shot yet, only three said yes, including Slade. However, Piedmont Macon North ER doctor Gary Godlewski says he's seen an increase at the hospital among people of all ages. The last several days working, our waiting room has been full, backed up. Uh, so we'll see more people. Godlewski says he expects the increase to bring 10 to 20 percent more people into Piedmont North's ER. He also says Georgia is currently one of the leading flu states for a couple of reasons. Well, we just had a major holiday. Uh, people tend to go out, pick it up, bring it home, and then start to spread it. And more people are not wearing masks because we've seen a lot less COVID. If you get a flu shot, I think it's easy to, it's an easy step in the right direction to like prevent the flu and just prevent unnecessary risks. According to the CDC, even if you haven't had your flu vaccination, vaccination is still highly recommended because the flu most commonly peaks in February and high activity can continue into March. In Macon, Molly Jett, 13WMAZ News.